Hello everyone, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries and today I want to show you some techniques that are referred to as biomimicry. So I went on a really nice trip to England and uh, I watched my wonderful oldest daughter get married there. It was a great ceremony and uh, for a while there we were in Cornwall where they have this place called the Biosphere. And the biosphere is this huge greenhouse with all these different plants. And I thought these shapes were so compelling. So this was uh, one of my favorite. And so I decided to uh, create a model of it. So here is the model that I came up, came up with to uh, mimic what I saw. And I'd like to show you now some of the uh, techniques that I used. So I started by uh, bringing the JPEG into NX and in order to do that you know you go to tools raster image you select a plane you bring that in and then you can start sketching upon it so as you can see I brought it in and I superimposed my original sketch on top of it and then um, I made some sketches um, I made some datum planes and some sketches that would be cross sections basically and um, you'll see that uh, what I did uh, after a while, and I'll show you some of these nice little sketches. So I made, I made these line segments. These line segments were used to make datum planes. Here they are. And the datum planes were used to uh, make sections, if you will. And then of course the sections were used to do a through curve mesh. Not a lot of folks know, but uh, when you do a through curve mesh, you could have a point as one of the actual sections. So this was a point and then there was a section here, etc, etc. And um, so that's a really powerful technique. Now the actual geometry doesn't have the sharp point and so at some point I chopped that off of there and uh, here we go, I, trim, I trimmed it off and then I did an n-sided surface. So I went through a lot of iterations of this thing. So um, by and by uh, I made this really nice little kind of model of what was there. Um, if I really wanted to solve that little problem, I would make another curve that went from there to there. And when I did the n-sided surface, I would give it a little bit more definition. And uh, what I ended up doing was patterning this. So I started with this one. Um, and then I did a pattern like that. And an axis. And then I patterned it like that. And I moved objects. See? So that's how I got it to alternate. And I notice with a lot of the uh, biological things that I'm trying to emulate, they alternate uh, like a sawtooth or, or like a herringbone, whatever. <clears throat> but then I said, what can I do to use what I've learned on something that's like um, another product? And I decided to do a laundry basket. So what I did next was I made a sketch, this sketch right here, that borrows its visual cues from this alternating kind of shape that I had. You can see it's kind of a curve and then it, it's got an arc. So I took some liberties, you know, and I made this set of shapes and I used patterning within the sketch to make this go across and, and pattern. So then I had that and the very next thing I did was to use that pattern and I wrapped it onto a vessel, if you will. So here is the a uh, little circular sketch that I made, and then I extruded that sketch, I wrapped it. So I used the wrap curve command to wrap that beautiful pattern around. I had to make sure that the uh, length from, uh, some, from like this point to this point in my sketch was a pi times the diameter of this circle. So this circle has a 44.978 inch diameter and the distance between um, those defining points in this pattern um, and these uh, circle centers is exactly that diameter divided by pi. Uh, then I did a divide face and I did a thicken. So there's the thicken. So there, that's the shape that I had all wrapped and subdivided and thickened, etc. And then I finished up the exercise by putting a lip on there, putting a, a base, and finally I've got the finished product. The finished product borrows its visual cues from a, whatever this plant is. I'm sure somebody will tell me. There's uh, a really good example, I think, of how to do biomimicry. 
Anyway, uh, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Tell your friends that this is the channel where we're delving into difficult designs. We're using software in ways that a lot of people don't always have the time to uh, learn the software and the ins and outs well enough to do these um, odd techniques. So uh, thanks again, Steve Samuel. Take care.